What's up, YouTube? What the fuck? How you guys doing? This is your girl, Simply Love, and I'm here to do your reading for you for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun for Cancer. I'm going to finish out y'all readings today. All right. We'll see what's going on with you. We're going to take the mystic um, misfits, okay? We're going to look at that. This is what it looks like on the front. I got these from Estes. Anybody's interested. They're called Mystic um, Misfits. Okay, so let's pull a card for Summer Rising and Venus on for Cancer. Spirit, what, what card do you want of the Mystic Misfits for Cancer? Which card? Okay, there it goes. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So, we got the Mermaid. The Mermaid. Okay. So, 27 may mean something to some of you. 27. Write that number down, look it up on the internet and see what that number means to you. And it is 11.04 on the clock. Look that up as well. 11.04 on the clock. Just a moment while I get it out. Okay. Finally found the glasses off. Okay, the mermaid. The mermaid broods when left in still water. Emotional, sensitive, intuition, flow, uh, turmoil. Okay, that's what this part is mean. Uh, the mermaid broods when left in still water. Emotional, sensitive, intuition, flow, um, and turmoil. You know, you guys are water signs. That is quite, quite understandable there. Okay, let's put that there and see what's going on. Okay, now we're going to look at the Supernatural Oracle. Let's we'll see what Spirit has to say about that. Okay, can we get four cards for this? With this spirit for cancer, something rising of Venus. Can we get four cards? Oh, they want to try to jump out. Y'all, y'all want to talk. Y'all got something to say for sure, for sure. They don't move. All of them jumped out my hands. Y'all seen that? Okay. Someone rising Venus on for cancer. What are the messages, spirit? See how y'all want to talk really, really bad. Almost all of them came out. There's three. And it looks like y'all the only ones that got like the different something different okay thank you spirit I appreciate it okay let's see what we got here we got um, sacred stones building relationships so some of you may be you know entering or you know trying to build a relationship trying to manifest a uh, relationship okay and the other one is shaman mystical mystical journey you know, it's like, I feel like, you know, maybe Mystical Journey reminds me of the, the fool card in the deck. Maybe y'all taking a leap of faith into something to find out a relationship here. So we got Fairy. Your wishes are coming true. Wow, Cancer, your wishes are coming true. Woo, woo, woo. Because y'all are manifesting, okay? Yeah. You're building something solid. It's solid, too, because those are rocks right there. Y'all solid as a rock. Da, 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 da. That's what this love is. Angel, you are safe and protected. You got an angel, spirit guide, ancestor, somebody up there above is watching you, okay? And they're protecting you as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's look at the um the connection for the modern day world. We're gonna get four cards out of here. Y'all wanna talk so bad. Y'all are excited, aren't you? I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you guys. Yes. This is really, really nice intro here, you guys, Cancer. There you go. Okay. You got choices. Okay. You got to make decisions. So y'all in decision making right now. Okay. Pillow Princess. Okay. Somebody might want to... Somebody's thinking about their sexual, something sexual here. Somebody's, somebody got the hots for somebody here, okay? 
ignorance is bliss so somebody could be ignoring somebody a bleeding heart wow how did what the heck bleeding heart somebody's heartbroken this is the the, the, of the three of swords let's see what's going on we'll see what's going on we get into your reading here so we're going to look at mixed emotions now bear with me when it comes to these cards because you know it is mixed emotion you're going to have your highs and your lows okay and i'm going to try to put it together as best as i can so spirit can you tell me uh what is what what is cancer feeling about their person what is cancer feeling about their person sun moon rising and venus what is cancer feeling about their person what is cancer feeling about their person can you show me spirit what's cancer feeling about their person What's their feeling about their person? What's their emotions? Emotions is your feelings about this person. Y'all, you don't want to talk now? What? What? Okay, here we go. Two. See what's going on, Cancer. The way you feel about your person. Do you feel excited? You, know, you feel excited. You feel confused at the same time. You're excited and confused at the same time. Like, you know, your your head is all in different places. This reminds me of um your puzzle, distorted. And then and on the other hand, um, you're ecstatic. That's a mixed emotion if we have I ever heard of one. It's like you don't you're very, very confused about this person. And you feel lonely as well. You feel like you're in this all by yourself. Okay. So you got love though, in platonic, okay? You you got love. You you you're being honest, you're being um faithful, okay? You're being faithful. You like to show your love, give your love, you you're looking at this you're looking at your person as um, you feel like you really want to love this person. You want to give them all your love or you've been giving them all your love or something like that. You've been really nourishing this person. Very caring. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Empress energy. Okay, Spirit. What is Cancer's person feeling about them? What's Cancer's person feel about them? Can you give me some information, please, on what Cancer person feeling about them? Sorry when I look up, y'all. I be seeing, like, orbs and stuff going by. Like, they just fly by and stuff. When I be looking off like that, that's, that's what I'm seeing a, a lot. When I look off or something like that, I be seeing, like, orbs, things flying by. Okay, how does a uh, cancer person feel about them? How does cancer person feel about them? Some of you guys in Venus spirit. How does cancer person feel about them? Okay, got all your cards out here. Thank you, spirit. Appreciate it. Mm. Your person feels empowered. They feel like they got the world at their hand. They feel like they got it all, really. And they feel uh, curious about you. They feel empowered and they're curious at the same time. See how these cards come up? Mixed emotions. Everybody got mixed emotions, you know? Um, <clears throat> and they feel depressed. They feel like depressed. And grief. Wow. Okay, let's see where this reading goes. That made sense to y'all. Okay, let's see where the reading goes for uh, spirit. Ancestors, can you give me the messages that you want me to have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This can be for the cross watchers as well, okay? And the, and the stories y'all know, uh, this is just energy-based when we're doing general readings here. So, 
you know, whether it's male or female, it's just energy. We're not reading it as a, you know, particular, it's just the energy. We got two moons here. There's some secret stuff going on. Something, something's going on here. Secret, secretive. Somebody could be, somebody's sneaking, somebody's being real sneaky. Somebody could be doing some, some kind of work under the moon. Like I said, I don't like to be talking about magic all the fucking time. I just don't want to be talking about that all the time. But when it does come up, I'm just going to bring it up. And I just want you guys to know, I don't want you to get scared and paranoid. If you're hearing it too much, it's triggering. You need to stop, you know, watching these, all this stuff. I think it's getting a little out of hand with all that. People are making series and stuff like that off of it. You know, magic, magic, that's all you hear. Ain't, uh, like I say, ain't that much magic in the world. And I feel like, you know, spirit knows what's going on. They're going to protect you anyway. So don't get your panties up in a bunch when it comes to people saying that all the fucking time. You know? I know it is what it is. And I know some people do this stuff. But I can't see it being thrown around like where everybody is magical. You know, magic on everybody. I just can't see it. But it is coming up here. Let me show you. The Seven of Swords of Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Both of them got moons in it. Somebody could be doing some kind of type of magic here under the moon. It could. It, I think there's a moon coming up here. Somebody could be trying something like that. They also playing around with a Ouija board. You see that for yourself. And this is the two of wands. Somebody's contemplating and scheming and conniving on doing something under the moon. Because both of those cards got a moon in it. Okay? I'm just keeping it real. But like I said, don't be worried about this shit. Spirit, you know, will handle this. You probably are aware of it anyway. Okay? Most people are. <clears throat> Like no shuffle, no shuffle. Okay, never mind. Nothing didn't fall though. Didn't nothing fall. Let's see what's at the bottom of this deck. I'm curious. Okay, we got the nine of wands at the end of the deck, at the bottom of the deck. Male or female here. Remember, we're talking about energies. The nine of wands is knight of wands is someone who is very hasty. You know, they the player of the deck. Everybody knows that. They're all over the place. Somebody don't want to be a player. Somebody's trying to... Being that they're in the reverse like this, somebody might try to, you know, um, put some, do something sneaky, right, to get somebody to not be a player anymore. I don't know why I'm picking that up. They're doing some type of magic to get somebody to settle down with the knight of wands in reverse really good luck with that I'll be um I'm gonna clarify this yeah the knight of wands in reverse is someone who is stopping from uh, stopping their player ways or calming their self down Trying to settle down. Trying to settle. Mm. We got the Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody don't want to walk away from the situation here. Somebody's trying to stop someone via some type of something under the moon that they're doing. Somebody's manipulating a situation here for somebody to not move forward. Not move on. To stop playing or something like that. What is this? Hmm. The three of wands. Yeah, somebody trying to stop somebody from moving. But three of wands here is like somebody like moving forward. You know, they see something else out there better. Somebody's like preparing themselves. Like they see something different. Somebody wants to move on. And somebody's all up in their head about it. Somebody can't sleep. They're having all kind of anxieties. Um. Somebody's all up in their head. They can't think straight. So 
somebody's worried about somebody moving on maybe somebody magic ain't working because somebody's moving on anyway with the three of wands no matter what kind of magic is going on or what they try to do here that's sneaky with the seven of swords somebody's doing this in secret okay so now we have the five of swords because they want to win at all costs somebody here wants to win at all costs aquarius gemini or libra's energy cancer pisces scorpio we got aries sagittarius leo And we got the high priestess here. Yeah, there's some secrets here. Something, there's some secrets here. Somebody, it could be about a secret lover. Because sometimes the high priestess can represent a secret lover, somebody who's hidden. It also could represent, you know, somebody needs to use their intuition about something with that full moon there. It's all about intuition. Somebody knows something here as well, and they're keeping it to themselves. There's a lot of secret shit going on here. Look. Seven of Swords, High Priestess. That's a major arcana card right there. So, somebody could be dealing with a, a Pisces. They trying to, you know, manipulate the energies here for somebody. Because they don't want somebody to leave. But somebody wants to leave anyway. And some, I guess the whatever this shit is they doing under the moon or whatever is just not working, and they're upset about it. So they, you know, they trying to they're going to try to win at all costs. Somebody's going to manipulate a situation. Somebody's going to play mind games with somebody here with the five of swords. And they doing it all in secret here. Too much, too many secrets and shit going on here too many but it's going to be revealed with the hermit here okay somebody can be dealing with a virgo it's, it, this is a major two majors right next to each other so that's very significant to someone here somebody whatever they do in a secret is going to be brought to light somebody is going to get a big reveal as to what somebody here is doing behind somebody's back which it looks like a bunch of a freaking some type of uh, manipulation of your energies. Can I do it like that instead of black magic? Somebody's trying to manipulate something. Somebody's not something, but somebody's energies. And we got the Queen of Coins here, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy. Yeah, there's two women here. Somebody's going to discover something about another woman or another man. That's what's coming to light here. And they're going to find out somebody try to manipulate a situation regarding this situation. You know, somebody keeping secrets. It's coming to light. Okay. Yeah, 832 on the clock, y'all. Watch out what's up with 832. Look it up. Might be significant to this reading. 832. Let's see what's on the back of this. Yeah, somebody, we got the Five of Swords again. Somebody here is a manipulator. Somebody likes to play mind games too much. They are all up into this stuff. Somebody don't want somebody to leave here. And they're doing anything with trying to win at all costs here. Five of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And I put that one. Uh, this two of wands, which is, you know, somebody with trying to do anything, even magic, if they have to, so they can win at all costs. What's this knight of pentacles in reverse? What's this knight of pentacles in reverse? The world, okay? Yeah. Somebody's trying to stop someone from ending a cycle. Ain't that about a bitch? What's this ace, uh, eight of swords? I'm sorry, eight of cups in reverse here. What's the eight of cups in reverse? Can you show me the light on that? What's this eight of cups in reverse? Okay. King of swords. 
But the truth is coming out though. Somebody's gonna get truth. Somebody's gonna speak their truth. And, and, and that's going to be the bottom line when they do, when they find out. Somebody's going to speak their truth about something. Or somebody has already spoken their truth. Or there could be somebody where they're investigating something here. Somebody's standing firm. Somebody is standing firm on keeping somebody uh, from walking away. But the truth is going to come out. Is king or queen of swords. Remember, it can be either or. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay, what's this three of wands? What's this three of wands? What's this three of wands, please? This one came right in between my fingers. Yeah, uh, uh, somebody's moving on here. Somebody wants a new begin. Uh, no, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Somebody wants to release some type of burden here. Somebody looks at a situation as being a burden, and that's why they want to. That's why they want to leave. This could be you, Scorpio, I'm sorry, Cancer, or someone else. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. What's this, ten, what's this Nine of Swords? See, the Nine of Swords is one sword away from the Ten of Swords. So somebody is very, very... In their, somebody can't sleep and rest because somebody is moving on anyway, regardless. Nine of Swords is with the Nine of Cups. Somebody's upset because they feel like they're going to lose their happiness here. You see that? Somebody's going to lose their wish fulfillment. Somebody's upset about, you know, their wish fulfillment here. To somebody, this is, somebody's obsessed here, it looks like to me. Anytime you want to resort to doing things like this, manipulating people's energies and things like that, you're desperate. You're desperate and you need to stop that. What's this five of swords? That don't make no sense. Somebody wants to go. Let them go. Let them go. Stop playing games. This is a bunch of game playing. Whoever's doing this. Let somebody. Let them go. Because you know what goes around comes around. If somebody's doing this type of shit. And somebody try to hold them back. Because that you know that's your wish fulfillment. Or somebody else's wish fulfillment. Well guess what. Somebody don't think so. Somebody looking at somebody here like you're a fucking burden here. And they want to go. And they're going to go re regardless of what the fuck you do. So stop it. Whoever's doing this. The five of wands. Yeah, it's going. It's going. It's doing nothing but somebody wants to cause conflict. Manipulate. Want to win at all costs. Somebody's going. Somebody here wants to um, start a bunch of drama. Okay. That's what it is. Somebody here is starting a bunch of drama. Uh, you know. Two fives. Look at y'all. Look at that. Five on five. Look at it. Five five, y'all. Twelve fifty nine on the clock. Look that up and see what that means. I'm sorry. Twenty three oh five on the clock. Twenty three oh five on the clock. Look that up and see what this. This is conflict right here. This is imbalance. This is strife. Mentally and physically. Somebody could be physically trying to get in a fight with somebody or starting a fight. What's this um, high priestess? What's this high priestess? Thank you. Several. No, no, let me see. What is going on here, Cancer? I feel like this is your energy. You, you know, you, you want to move on. You, you know, because we seen that at the beginning in your Oracle uh, deck. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Like, you want to be free. I just want to be free. Oh, yeah. Ohio players, I want to be free if you want to hear that song. Somebody wants to be free here. Somebody wants to be independent. Because somebody has secrets here. That's why somebody wants to be free. And they the secrets are coming out. What is this uh, Hermit card here? Spirit, what's this hermit card? Thank you. Two wanted to come out. <laughs> justice. See? Yep. Something's going to be brought to light and justice. Karma's get ready to uh, beat somebody in their ass for this, doing this type of shit, causing drama, mayhem, uh, fucking with people's energy, trying to mess with people's energy. You see that? I knew justice was going to come out. Whatever's being wronged here is going to be right and somebody's ass is grass because justice is like, I'm, I, I see what the fuck you're doing. 
Okay, I see what you're doing. This is two major arcana here. This is a big damn deal for somebody who's in this energy that's trying to, you know, and you know what? <laughs> Sorry, the death card is going to bring an ending to this situation. Look, yep, queen of pentacles. Somebody here, male or female, is the energy of somebody's, you know, going to end this situation. It's going to be an ending here. What's the possible outcome, spirit? 25-23 on the clock. 25-23 on the clock, y'all. What's the possible ending here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the possible uh, um, outcome? What's the possible outcome? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun for Cancer. What's the possible outcome? Thank you, spirit. Uh, King or Queen of Cups, you know, like I said, this is just an energy. Somebody who's very loving and caring and um, I feel like somebody's going to use their intuition. Let me look at this. What's this Queen of Cups? Yeah, five of this, five of coins. The possible outcome for you guys is that you're just going to, you know, like I said, you're going to kick somebody to the damn curb with the five of coins here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay? You're going to break up with somebody. You're going to leave this shit behind because here we go with the, um, this could be a, uh, is this y'all? Scorpio energy y'all could be dealing with. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's your energy. Y'all, y'all going to leave this person alone. Okay? That's what's going to happen. But somebody here wants to, you know, revive the situation. Somebody wants it to come back together, you know, and have a ten of cups with you. That's what somebody wants. But I feel like this is y'all energy, leaving somebody behind, um, and you're going to meet someone else. And you're going to have this happy, happy ending here. That's the possible outcome for some of you. Any more messages here? And that's the truth. I saw that Ace of uh, Swords. Yeah, four wands, soulmate energy. Yeah, th this is a marriage. Somebody, you guys are going to end up getting married too. There's a marriage here. But somebody else is going to be left behind, kicked to the curb, you know, out in the cold, break up, no makeup for some of you is the possible. You're welcome to um, schedule a person, personal private reading if this resonates. You want some uh, a personal uh aspect to what's going on which is just caters to you and you only okay okay so we're going to look here uh cancer at uh love yourself okay we're going to get a few of these for you and then we're just going to let you go Okay, spirit. Okay, here we go. These two came in my hand right here, so these are for you. I let go of what's not good for me and receive all that is good for me. Yeah, that's what I said. That's the possible outcome. That's your outcome right there. Look, when I nurture myself, I increase my value, my worth, and my confidence. Y'all can use these and say these, you know, in the morning, and, and then when you go to bed at night, you can say these. It's just affirmations for you okay well i hope you guys enjoyed your read your reading on your way out please hit the like button share if you like to share join the channel and subscribe if you like um all the information is in the description of things that i got going on right now you guys can you know read that um and how to get in touch with me as well you guys take care and i'll see you next time on, on the next video bye